Welcome back. I'm Jordan Burchett for Maxim Online. We are now at a critical crossroads in our nation's history, where a culture clash of global proportions threatens to define the geopolitical landscape of the new century. On one side are fundamentalists, seeking to preserve the tradition that's been their way of life for years. On the other are forces of reform, bent on imposing a playoff system on college football so they can enjoy their pigskin in a bite-sized three-week format from the comfort of their stretch SUVs. America is more divided on college football's postseason than it is on evolution, and the debate is only getting more militant. Organizers of the BCS have been granted a one-year reprieve with exactly two teams escaping the regular season undefeated. But critics are still saying the system worked this year despite itself. It's like these detractors want to see college football fail. Calling yourself a fan, then insisting that college football's champion be crowned via tournament, it's like calling yourself a patriot than insisting that the president be chosen via spelling bee. You're not a college football fan. You want the sport next door, college basketball. Sponsorships like the Bank of America Barnes and Noble dot com bowl presented by the Greater Modesto Agricultural Retailers Association already make it hard enough to defend the bowl system to friends without having to dodge the friendly fire of a few cowards who lack the courage to stay the course. What kind of message does this send to the players? that the championship they've worked so hard for was a mistake? At a time like this, cutting and running on the bowl system is no way to win the hearts and minds of fans who supported college football for the last 100 years. Thanks, Jordan. A team who fell short of the BCS was involved in one of the biggest stories, if not the biggest story, of the